We found some pretty good stuff on the last one, but we don't quite have what we need to do some building. So I think for right now, uh, good grief. I think I'm just going to drop that shotgun. And if it uh, goes away, well, it goes away. For today, I think what I want to do... Oh, what is this over here? Looks like a storage center or something interesting. I think I want to maybe start making our way over to Elwood, and uh, it might be worth checking out whatever is right here, too. I see that there's some sort of site nearby there. Um, but at the very least, I think I'd kind of start pushing... like to start pushing toward Elwood. And then uh, we'll, we'll just kind of see where that takes us. So if I'm not mistaken, I think... We need to turn this bad boy around and head up this way. So in the last one, we went through the mall and we found some stuff and it was all right. It wasn't too bad. I mean, we didn't really find anything uh, great per se. And I think I'm just going to maybe try and stick a little into uh, the woods here and risk running into the big old stupid tree stump. Um, not sure what we're getting into over here. Let's just hop out and... Take a look. Get rid of old Shamble Shamble here. You don't have anything. This looks like this maybe is a bad place. I mean, there's like a big old keep out sort of thing. Oh, I see you over there, buddy. I do see you. Don't think I don't, because I do. Oh man, that guy had one health left. That's bonkers. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to this. Because now we need to do that took a little bit of radiation damage there, I think. I don't think we were at 67, were we? I mean, I hear radiation ticking away, but I'm not sure if that's because we're around radiation or what. Or if that was just, you know, being hit. Uh, here, can we sneak up on this guy? Oh, nice. Good job. Good. Actually... I will take antiseptic. We kind of need that. Oh, I see it right now. I see the little radiation sign. No filter. Okay, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Patient zero building. Is that what that is? Patient zero building right there. It's not even marked or anything. Oh, man. I don't even know how I marked the map before, actually. Speaking of mark and stuff. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how I marked the map. It is what it is. Uh, let's just go ahead and head up the road here. And it looks like we got some vehicles and stuff along the way. Here's a bus. Just going to mostly avoid these things if possible. Looks like we got... Is that maybe a survivor camp right there? They're not shooting, and I think we would be within range if, if they were angry with us. Oh, tag, buddy. You got wrecked. Okay, let's go find out. We'll just run in. Okay. Yeah, they're cool. They're friendly. How you doing, man? I wish you could trade with these guys or something. That'd be kind of cool or like recruit them. I mean, there's still some work to be done on the game. I, I kind of think it might be a solo dev who has built this game, which is just like mystifying to me that potentially one person can be doing all of this because it's, uh, it's a lot and it's actually a really good game. But dang. I'm just stopping here because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. That, um, wrong one. That, I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, that's, um, that's a plane. That's like fuselage and there's cockpit area and all sorts of stuff going on here. So there's a, a downed plane right here. That's crazy. I didn't even, I, I've not been over here. So this is like totally wild and new to me. Ooh, level up. Now level 5. I, I saw it pop up this time. I tend to miss seeing that. Um, you look very stinky. Oh yeah, you've got some green, green eyes. They are as green as they get. Come on, ma'am. I'm just going to get rid of you. Yeah, that guy is so far away. Like, these, these binoculars are just not really good for me, I don't think. Kind of thinking this is maybe the way to get rid of these guys. Let's see if we can get this one over here. I'm a little worried about getting too close to them. I mean, if I can... I 
Maybe I can just do it this way and we'll just deal with it because this is definitely going to get this guy's attention. Oh, we got another one. And another one. Crap. Okay. We're fine. Ish. Okay. Everyone good? Everyone's good. Okay. Let us not mess around and let's take one of these radiation pills now. That's going to give us 50% of our radiation back. Oh, that guy dropped a med kit. Excellent. Um, I mean, varmint rifle. Uh, we've discussed that on the last one. Not, not great. Uh, that's only 13 rounds in that guy. One round in that guy. So here, let us see if we can reload our drum magazine. There you go. That works for me. So that gives us much more ammunition again. Although we really need to get some more nine. I mean, it's a good thing we still have the 45. There's another emergency drop. Another emergency drop. There's an emergency drop. My goodness. Uh, military boots. Okay. I mean, I don't know that they do anything special. The ice axe is kind of cool. Look at that. Ooh, MRE. So 50 food, 30 thirst, and 15 energy. Ooh, a holographic sight. Look at that. Okay, um, an M249, oh my gosh. Okay, so a P90 and an M249 drum. That tells me that there are some weapons in this game that we have not seen yet. Or at the very least, that I have not seen yet. Holy crap, dude. Um, we really need more space for all this stuff because... Here, we're going to drop that guy in there. And then this uh, we can put here. Can we put that hollow sight on... Okay, so can we put this guy... No. We can't put that on the M9. I bet you we could put it over here, though. Yeah, we can put that on the AK. I don't want to commit to that just yet. Can you take that out? Okay, I didn't realize you could do it that way. That makes all the sense in the world. That's how you do it when... Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So I just put two and two together there. That is how you use a weapon when you haven't yet found a magazine, because it does have a magazine. You just got to actually, you know, take it out. Got it. I feel like an idiot, but we're getting places. We're moving along. It's fine. Don't we have shotgun shells somewhere? Did I, did I put them in there? I didn't put them in there. Okay. I don't know. Uh, there's an SVD mag. Actually, you know what? We could, can we put... No, we can't put that in there. We can't put the compensator in there. Can't put the magazine in there either. Okay. Well, then here, we don't need to be carrying that mag. So, 556 and 45. There they are. I was going to say, I knew we had some shells somewhere. I just wasn't finding them. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and pull the Winnebago up a little bit. I don't even know if we're going to get through here today. Like, that was, uh, that was a lot right there. We got a pallet right here. Like, this place looks like there's a lot going on here. Uh, we should probably have our axe out just in case we need it. Because, holy crap, dude. Cap, I'm trying to rearrange my my headset gable type thing. Ugh. She sits down and gets it stuck under her. Um, two, two by two. What do we have over here? Two, two by two. So, same thing. So, that's not really going to do us any good. There's an, a Mosin clip. Didn't we get, like, another one of those or something? I'm not even going to worry about that. I mean, it's kind of like, what's the point? Ooh, can we get in here? No. It looks like it's... I mean, it looks like we can see into the cockpit a little bit, but not entirely. That's fine. Let's check out this ammo container. Wow. Four shotgun shells. You know what? I guess what we should do at this point is pull this guy out and go ahead and just cram some shells in there. Because if we need it, we are now good to go. And that gives us basically two full... Mm, I guess you don't really say magazines in this case, because it's tube fed, but I don't know, whatever. That gives us some stuff to do. Some shooty to shoot. This place looks pretty mean. I'm just saying, uh, I might not be ready for this place yet. I don't know. Military safe zone. Medical exam required. Report suspicious behavior. 
I mean, this is where I would like to have... Uh, they look okay. I'd like to have binoculars that are not as far zoomed in. What am I hearing? Is it like a radio, maybe? Is that what we're hearing? Oh, totally whiffed on that. That's fine. I mean, we got the zombie. That's what matters. Okay, this guy's going to come in first. Come on in, madam. It's okay. Mm, it's not really going to do us any good, but we'll take that. Take the cloth. I wonder if you can put anything on... Like, can you drag these guys onto... Oh, ho, ho. what have I been missing this whole time? What an idiot I've been. I hadn't tried doing that. And I clearly should have. We cannot get in there, but... The military you see, the ones who shoot on sight, they're not the military. There's something else from offshore. Okay, um, that's slightly terrifying. So the military is not the military. That sounds like the military is uh, unfriendly. Ear defenders, that's kind of interesting. Can we take another Molotov? Looks like that might be the maximum Molotovs is four at a time. I think we can cram some more. I guess four is the maximum. Okay, that's weird that that didn't want to stack, but that's fine. Um, I mean, can we cram more? Okay, no. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. That's very interesting to me. I didn't think that would be the case. Let's hope there's more than three or four shotgun shells in here. I'd like, you know, 373. Um, ooh, 50, 50 caliber rounds. Holy crap, dude. Okay. Um, let's just put you in there, because I have no idea what to do with that right now. I mean, we have no use for that, but... We potentially do. Let's go ahead and take a look at our skills just to see. We've got two points to spend. I think I'll wait until we can spend one on advanced lock picking. I would prefer to have that, I think. Uh, I'm worried a little bit worried here about getting the Winnebago stuck on something. All right, we need to get out and just start dealing with these zombies here. They're going to be a problem otherwise. Yep. I know. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so. I have now learned I can just hit number six. Good grief, dude. I have played hours of this game without doing that. Like, no joke. I know. It's sad and pathetic. But it's true. It's true. Whatever. It's fine. So it looks like we have some sort of, um, maybe fire station or something. Bus depot? Maybe it's like a bus depot. That, that can't really see the vehicle in there. Just, it looked big and red, and my first thought was fire truck, but I think bus depot is really more correct. This is like the, uh, I don't know, the parking, the storage for them or something, like a, a big work bay or something. Check the trash bag here. So we got... Sorry, I thought I heard movement. I was getting a little freaked out there. Uh, batteries, we'll take those guys. We don't need another shotgun. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we should be taking... I don't know what we should be taking at this point. Like, I really don't. Like, should we be taking another door? Do those stack? I don't know that they stack. I mean, if they do, then maybe that's not a bad thing to take. But, I don't know. I mean, where are we even going to use the door? I have no idea. And I don't know if it pays to go to specific types of POIs. I mean, we have seen that there are different kinds of crates, of course. But I don't... Come on. I know, we're bleeding out. We'll take care of it in a second. I was worried a little more about not dying there to the hits. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Um, I don't know. I just... I'm... Crap, dude. 
I don't like that you have to hold down the right mouse button to be able to attack, and there was a there was a, a bit of a delay there, and I just didn't recognize that's what was going on. So I think I needed to wait like another half a second. This looks like this would be. How you doing? This would be a fantastic base. Look at this. Like I'm just looking at at. There's like nothing in here. And we got a door. You could just like slap a door in like right there, literally, and you're good to go. I mean, can can we attach a door? I don't know that we can. Um, I'm going to go find out, though. Because if we can, this is great. I mean, we could really... Uh, I Honestly, I think I'd prefer maybe even... Like this big hangar bay. We could put a couple of fences around it or something. Fences, walls, whatever. I don't know. And just enclose this big old... It's not a hangar, but... I mean, that's what it's making me think of. Hi. Yep, see, there's that delay again. I got to... I gotta get used to that. I'm not not been getting attacked much while doing sort of uh, looty loot stuff, so that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. It's my bad, and that's just me being I don't know lazy essentially because I'm not catching these guys before they get over here. I mean, like there's a fence right there. That's perfect. Put up a couple of fences and some doors. We'd be good. Another Mosin clip, some eyewear. Take the lockpick. Um, can we put the wood in there? I mean, we can, but it's kind of annoying that you have to open that up first. I think maybe you're full in there. Okay. Come on over. I mean, technically, we could almost even just like rebuild right here or something. Oh my gosh, everyone has a 9 mil. Alright, just for the giggles, can we place this? Uh, we can. So if we rotate this guy around... Um, and we do something like... That. <laughs> I realize that's stupid silly. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Oh, that's too big. Okay. Uh, brr. Brr. Okay, take that guy, and then we'll go over here, and then we'll try and place it. Oh, okay, that's perfect-ish, because this is massive. So this will, this will really kind of seal in everything. I mean, I don't know. I guess we're sort of committing to turning this into a place, right? So then we can squeeze right in. Look at that. This is going to prevent zombies from spawning over here. I don't know if there's a limit on how, how many different places you can build and that sort of stuff. So um, you know, let's put you on number eight. I guess we should probably put that guy like somewhere here. Let's put that in our secure container down there. Just so that it's... Uh, about as low as we need to scroll, we won't scroll to it. That's fine. Oh, man. We need to find some stuff to trash and, like, turn this into a proper base. I'm really excited about the prospect of that. What do we have here? 6 o'clock, 6 p.m.? Looks like we've got some sort of... Maybe a... Like a hotel, a motel, or something right here. Okay, there's... I think I found the wreck I'm looking for. So that we can get some scrap iron. And we'll have to switch out some inventory to make this work, but let's go ahead and clear the neighborhood first. We gotta do that. Look at that. They're in unison. Gotta love it. Uh, sure, we'll just take the water bottle and we'll take the alcohol for now. This is the guy I was looking for, is this right here. So I think if we do, shoot, we don't have the space for it. And here, can we drop the Molotov there? And I guess we could drop that guy, move that right there, and then pick up the sledge. That's just going to equip it for us automatically. So kind of cheating there. I thought this was, no? 
Maybe this is not the right one. Okay. I guess that is not the correct one after all. Okay. I mean, I'm sure there will be something somewhere that we can we can go through. We got a grocery store right there. What is this down the road? Uh, lots of eyes. Not sure what that is. There's an ambulance there. We've got some sort of uh, high rise. Maybe that's like an apartment complex. Just trying to watch that zombie on the right since we got this one's attention. Man, that really kind of bothers me. I thought this, I really thought that was the right one to harvest. It's all right, it's all right. Looks like we got some storefronts over there. So maybe if we go around the block, we'll find some more stuff there. I mean, I kind of think we can make this work. I, I don't know that it's going to make sense long term, like as a, uh, a main base or anything, but uh, you know. I think it's worth giving a, a whirl, at the very least. You don't seem to know what's going on. Ow. Never mind. Okay, we'll just go ahead and use one of those. Sure, take the blade. It doesn't really matter. And nice surprise sledge to the back of the head. Okay. Looking good so far. Should probably make some more rags since we're kind of out of those. Right, we used all of them. No, we have one more. Okay. Here, let's go ahead and stack our bandages so we don't run out of those as quickly. Uh, here, just go ahead and consume these guys. And then we'll just put that back on the zombie. I don't mind if we lose out on those things. Not a big deal. So this is just the rest of the motel over here. I mean, there are going to be oodles and oodles of containers to check over here for sure. Sure, take all that. There's a little dim over here. We'll turn on the light. I don't know if I want to go through all of these. I mean, not necessarily looking for this sort of stuff. Wow. A rare buildable, a space shuttle. Okay. Um... Regular binoculars. How you doing? I mean, I was literally just saying I wouldn't mind some regular binoculars, so um, I guess I shouldn't be upset by that. That's, that's pretty great, really. I guess this cupboard was worth, or the other cupboard at least, was indeed worth checking. Um, I mean, we dropped all of the stuff. We'll have to make a generator again or just pick up the stuff that we left outside the mall. That's the more likely case, is we'll just have to pick up all that stuff. Was there someone else over here? Okay, that was just the light. I wasn't sure. That was uh, just in the nick of time. A currency briefcase. Um, Do we have easy space for one of those right there? Boom. So we can shove all of our money in there. Presumably, uh, there's a reason that one would have a currency briefcase. Because you're going to have so much money that you really need more than four spots for carrying all of it, I guess. I don't know. Here, I'm going to... Okay, no, that's fine. We can go up. I was going to say, I want to get out of here and go somewhere else. But you know what? We are finding some decent utilitarian stuff in here, so... I'm kind of okay with it. It's fine for now. There's still a, going to be a bigger backpack somewhere. Ooh, 99%. Even better than what we have. Take that guy, and then here we'll drink that. Chem lights. Oh, that's kind of cool. I had no idea. No idea that those were in the game. Here, let's drop those guys. Uh, that's probably fine for now. If we need more drink, we can go back to the Winnebago. I think we might have one more water thing on the Winnebago. I'm not 100% sure. I guess we can take stones. Did the... I guess the scrap metal stacked in there on its on its own? Oh, the battery ran out. Shoot. I think all the... Oh, nope. There you go. We have... Um, 
you know, let's take out that battery. Uh, I know one of the things that was just added to the game is a battery charging station, so I'm kind of hesitant to drop the batteries just like so. Are we carrying... Yeah, we are carrying a bunch of rope on its own. Okay, that's fine. So I'd kind of hate to get rid of the batteries if we have a use for them, like if we can just recharge them and get use out of them, but I think we might have a couple of extras elsewhere. Ooh. Um... I mean, maybe that's even better. Ooh, Toughness Volume 3. So that's going to give us a boost to our toughness skill, at least until it levels up. That's handy dandy. I do appreciate that. Just go ahead and turn on the flashlight again. Because it's a little dim if we're not using it. I mean, it's still a little dim if we are using it. <laughs> uh, shoot. Here, let's put those guys down there. And we'll put the dead battery down there. And what I'm thinking of is crap. Okay, so here, let's take, we can get stone more or less anywhere, but we can't get tents everywhere. So uh, I don't know what happens if we jump over the edge here. Okay, that was interesting. Kind of like uh, mantled it. This guy is also not one that we can harvest, okay. So we're just going to run back over here because if we drop this tent off, then we can use it for storage, which I think is a pretty good idea. And I realize I could have just run through a different way, but that's fine. Here, let's go ahead and place this guy. We're going to pop this down uh, just right here in the middle. It doesn't matter. I'm not really worrying about it either way. It's totally fine. What is the stamina drain? Um, shoot. Uh, I don't think we're going to be looking... To gather any wood at the moment, so um, I guess we can stop carrying that. The currency briefcase, that's fine. Can we just like swap those out? Man, I wish you could just swap like that. I wish the game would just be like, oh, okay, I know what you're asking to do. You just want to swap that with whatever is right there. Yes, that would be super duper handy, but it doesn't work that way, which is kind of annoying, but. Nope, don't pick it up. It is what it is, right? Okay, let's go back to the Winnebago. Um, Winnebago's over here. I was going back to, like, some random van. Uh, nope. Let's see, we do have a gigantic jug of water and um, a canteen. So the canteen is probably what we'll use next. I mean, I guess we could grab that, but I don't want to have to figure out where to drop it for the time being. Here, let us do this. Let's swap these guys out for those ones. And I just want to see... Oh, yeah. That's much better in terms of... I can see much... I can see closer things much easier. The military ones are great for distance, though. Like, nice long distance. Super good. I'm not sure what this building is on our left, but I will gladly take some 9mm rounds. I guess let's go check this out. I mean, it looks like it's almost like a warehouse or something. There's There are shop shelves in here. Okay, I'll take some corn. I mean, we do, we do need to eat some food, so we could just have that momentarily here. Come on, what you got? Oh, there's a big old water jug, so sure, we'll take that. I mean, we're going to go through some water, or we're going to need to go through some water here shortly, so I'm good with that. Got some exposed plumbing there. So this is probably going to be just like a row of stores, would be my guess. All right, that was a twofer right there. Did not play that very well, but we survived, so that's fine. Maybe that'll increase some toughness, too. <laughs> Tourist here. The hat and the camera give them away. Okay. And then it looks like we have the residential area of the town right here. Ooh, some public toilets, I guess. I don't see any signage on any of these stores, so I'm not sure what we're getting ourselves into, but uh, shop shelves, I mean, that still sounds 
potentially promising. This looks like it's like a little corner grocer or something. Okay, let's just go ahead and consume that, consume that guy. Boom, done. So we are at 100% fullness. Nice and easy. And we'll check the fridge here. I say there might be like some milk in here or something. Uh, we'll take that one because that one might not be bad. I think we have enough canned food. I'm just not going to worry about taking the cereal right now. That may be a mistake, but if it is, so be it. This looks like the exact same stop, uh, shop next door to the other one, so that's kind of funny. Mm, okay, lots of water. Actually, you know what? Here, we'll just go ahead and drink that guy right now, and we'll put that canteen back. I do kind of wonder if at this difficulty of the game, it's just, you know, like, you don't really need to worry about filling your water containers and, you know, cooking and all that, or uh, cooking it and that sort of jazz. Okay, cannot harvest that guy either. Well, dang. I know it's the kind of crumpled, rust-colored things, but apparently it's not those ones. There we go. I was trying to time that so that by the time the second guy arrived, the first one would be just coming out of stagger, and then we'd be able to just take a swing. This looks like maybe this is a gas station over here or something. Not sure. Some sort of store for sure. Feel reasonably confident about that. And it looks like we can't get into most of those. We can get into this clothing store here. Yeah, I was trying to check the timing on that. You were going to beat us on the search bar. I mean, she's still got a swing, so, you know, what can you do? I guess you could just, you know, stop sooner so that you're actually prepared. Uh, sure, here, we'll search this clothing, clothing rack. Easy for me to say. What time do we have, by the way? 6.57, all right, so it's probably about a good point to stop. Let's check the shop shelves in here real quick. A laptop for five bucks. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I know I hear someone. Lunchbox. That's what I've been looking for. Oh, that is brilliant. The lunchbox is amazing. All right, come on in. We're going to check one more shelf and then we're done. The lunchbox is going to save us so much space, like no joke. This thing is great. And we'll go ahead and take that and take the nails. And then here, let's... Uh, nope, broken glass, don't care. Take the beans, we don't want the bread. Here's why this thing is so great. Let's see, where did you go? So lunchbox, boom and boom and boom. And I th don't think the can opener goes in there. But we can drop that in there and that in there. And alcohol doesn't count. But the energy drink does... And the MRE can go in there. And just like that, we have something to store all of our food and stuff in. Let's drop the water in there. And we have freed up so much space. It's all about getting containers within containers within containers. Because technically, you can do containerception. I have learned that. Guess I'll head back to the Winnebago and we will rejoin on the next one. Chances are what's going to happen is I'm going to log out. And we'll log back in. We'll have some zombies to clean up along the way. But I'm thinking maybe if we can drive around a little bit here, I can find a good place to start the next one. If I can uh, cut through here, that way we're not going through, totally going through the places we've already been. So catch you next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.